semi-final number two once again we are scheduled for three two minutes rounds in this trans tasman battle introducing first from the blue corner hailing from new zealand and the current south pacific middleweight champion with a points win over barris nezef earlier shane chopper chapman his opponent from the red corner from queensland australia one of the country's finest Muay Thai superstars, he is John Wayne Park. <laughs> Referee for this contest, Mr. Chris Nicolau. Your judges at ringside, Terry Clay, Graham Waddell and Dave Hedgecock. Okay guys, you both know what you're doing out here. No grappling, no holding. Okay, keep off the ropes. Good luck to both of you, come out fighting. Well, we are ready to rumble in the first round of action of this semi-final. Out of the red corner, John Wayne Parr. And the trainer of Daniel Dawson, Ron Parr, just telling me, Hammer, that Daniel can't compete here in the semi-final as he's incurred some problems with his vision in that left eye that was so badly banged up against Wayne Parr. Well, that was always going to be a worry, even uh, as he was fighting in that round. I could see he was having a bit of trouble out of that left eye. And uh, it's how, how very unfortunate for uh, Daniel, but uh, he is a tough customer and he'll be back and we look forward to seeing a lot more of him on Fox Sports. Third man in centre ring, one of my favourite referees all the way from South Australia, Chris Nicolau. We're underway in the first round of action. Step up front, kick off the lead leg there from Chopper Chapman. Nice left round kick from Wayne Parr. High left round kick from Chapman. Cut munching front kick again from the Kiwi. Nice technique from the Kiwi. Chapman, blue shorts, white trim. Wayne Parr, blue shorts with the cowboy hat on the front. Parr just scooping the front kick out of the way. Nice front kick to the midsection again. Those front kicks will take the starch right out of Wayne Parr. Parr just chops away to the lead leg. Big right hand off the jaw there from Parr. The leg kick was checked by Chapman. And more tentative start to this, the first round of action, 45 seconds down. Both fighters showing a lot of respect for each other because they know one slip and it's going to be a KO. One of these men will go on to the final. One of them will meet the Aboriginal warrior, Chris Collar. Will it be Chopper Chapman? Will it be John Wayne Park? High left round kick, right hand combination there from Park. One minute, 10 down in the first round. High right round kick there from Chopper Chapman. Parr just illegally catching the kick. You can't do that. And an official warning there from Chris Nicolau. One right. more and it'll be a point off. But Parr wants to be careful. But then again, a lot of the crafty fighters around Michael, they'll use their official warning to try and take advantage of their opponent in, the, in a bit of a psych out. Nice front Type kick again. Play. Comments from the former Australian cruiserweight Muay Thai champion Mark the Hammer Castanini. Ringside with myself, Michael Chavello. We're here at the Moorabbin Town Hall. Inside leg kick there from Chopper Chapman. Chapman just backed into the blue corner. Wayne Parr looking to unload the big right hand. Just off target there. I tell you what, Chapman really works that inside thigh kick well off the lead leg. He's popping his front kick well and his inside thigh kick well. End of the first round of action, Hammer. How do you see that one? Well, it was a close one all the way, and I'm not going to split these two over that first round. Here we see Chapman waiting in forward. Parr comes back. You've got to look for the clean punches. It doesn't really matter if the fight is busy, but he's got to be getting those punches in. He's got to be finding the gap. He's got to be finding the openings, landing them cleanly. We are rolling into the second round of action. John Wayne Parr out of the red corner. Chopper Chapman from New Zealand out of the blue corner. Chapman again opening up the front kick off the lead leg. Been one of his favoured weapons so far, the gut munching front kick. Well, the front kick's used basically. Oh, the big left hand! Goes. Big left hand from Wayne Parr! He dropped the New Zealander with that one, but Chapman straight back to his feet. Oh. He looks at referee Chris Nicolau. Chapman okay. just taking a moment to compose himself. Says, I'm okay to go on, ref. I'll tell you what, he's a tough customer, Chapman. That would have sent any lesser fighter down, but he's not phased by it at all. He took a bit of a, a trip in the fog there, but now he's out of it. Wayne Parr came dancing out of the neutral corner. He's a man on a demolition mission here in the second round. Parr opening up there at the left round kick to the ribs. Warning again there from Chris Nicolau not to hold the kick of Chopper Chapman. Obviously allowed in Muay Thai fights, but not in conventional kickboxing. Nice step up kicks there from Chapman. His kicking is very, very clean, very crisp and fast. What's more? 
Wayne Parr has scored a knockdown in this round. There's a nice short right hand. Parr now charging across the ring. Look at him go, Wayne Parr. He has exploded here in the second round. Parr again, a big right hand off the jaw and another to the side of the head. Wayne Parr will not take a backward step. He wears a nice one two to the kisser. Here comes Chapman, the man they call Chopper. I'll tell you what, Michael Wayne Parr, he doesn't mind wearing a couple to get in close, but he's got to be careful because it's just going to take one right on the button, which is going to put him down for a count. So he can't throw caution too far to the wing. He still has to keep his guard up pretty tight. Chopper Chapman looking to dig away to the ribs of Wayne Parr. High right round, oh, high left round kick there from Chapman, just caught on the forearms by Parr. I'll tell you what, Mogul, have a look at the conditioning on these athletes here tonight. Absolute immaculate conditioning from all of them. Got an ounce of fat and the technique to match. Chapman launches the high right round kick, the searing shin to the head, catching the leg again there by Wayne Parr. And luckily for him, Hammer, at the end of the round, Chris Nicolau just moving in to give him another warning. Well, he's got to be very careful of that stuff. But, you know, it is understandable. These boys train tie rules every day of the week, you know, and it's very hard to, to uh, leave that out sometimes. Once again, you see Wayne Parr just waiting in. One, two, three. Chapman ducking out of harm's way. Staggered back slightly. But Wayne Parr really going hunting for that uh, headshot. He's left his kicks at home today. Wayne Pays should be rolling a thigh kick in somewhere there and scoring nice and tight. But Chapman coming back nicely, working the body and the head. That, that was excellent technique from both those men. We are rumbling in the third and final round of action. Referee Chris Nicolau gets us underway. Chopper Shane Chapman out of the blue corner. John Wayne Parr out of the red corner. A slapping round kick for the lead fire there from Chopper. Well, Chapman really has to get it back in this round. I have a nice sco scorecard anyway. I have Wayne Parr slightly ahead. So Chapman's really got to finish strong. Nice leg kick again there from Chopper. Parr just checks the round kick. Chopper goes downstairs. Oh, scintillating, scintillating round kick to the head there from Wayne Parr. And Chopper just smiles at him. He just got the slingshot effect there, Michael. <laughs> As uh, Chapman come off the ropes, bang, went the round kick. That's good kicking time from Wayne Parr. Neither of these men struggling for breath. Two finely conditioned athletes in the third and final round of action. Nice right hand there to the side of the head from Chopper Chapman. Inside leg kick from Chapman. Looking for the front kick. Down he goes. Referee Chris Nicolau is going to apply another count to the Kiwi. This has been Wayne Parr's round so far. Watch Parr come dancing out again. I'd say that's enough for Parr to take it as his rip shorts hang off his waist. The man from the Boon Chew Gym on the Gold Coast. Wayne Parr has this fight for the Oh, what a nice beautiful kick. Through. He was trying to put his nose through the back of his head with that one. This is a good display of technique from Wayne Parr. He's picking his shots well, but take nothing. Oh, oh Parr's gone goes. down. Parr's gone down. Wayne Parr has been dazed in the third round. Well, there's a count each in this one. He's smiling, but he might be a little bit rattled. He's a bit rough. He's a bit rough, Michael. Can Wayne but he's Parr tough. He's see out the final 30 seconds. He's got to get it back. There's a count each. How often do you see that sort of stuff, Michael? I'm telling you, this is awesome. My Promoter Kelly C. Ringside promotions have put on a fantastic show here tonight. Chopping leg kick there from Chopper Chapman. Chapman contends victory if he can put Wayne Parr away. How tough are these guys? Ironclad. They have both taken more knocks than the front door. There's the end of the third and final round. Hammer, how do you see it? I'd have to say Chapman getting it back has put it right back in the scorecards again. <laughs> I'm going to put you on the spot. You hate it, but you've got to call it, Hammer. Yeah, thank you very much. You're the expert. That. Come on. I mean, as far as the crowd goes, you'd want to see a draw, so we go the extension. But I'd have to say Wayne Park has had an extra uh, count on Chapman. So theoretically speaking, the theory could go right out the window here. I'd have to lean it towards Wayne Park. But take nothing away from Chapman. What a tough customer. As he wades forward once again, Park just looking for the gap, lets the kick go by. Here comes Chapman. He's going for the body, and that's good technique. And there's that short left right on the button. Thank you very much. Down goes Wayne Parr. But how tough is he? Straight back up again and last out the round. Any lesser fighter, and they're going to stay down with that type of a punch. See that? He was out. He was out. In the fog, that's where he was. But straight back up he gets. Daniel Dawson. 
He's, uh, I know how, how he'd be feeling. He'd be wanting to get back in there thinking, geez, I could have done so much better if I hadn't had this injury. We go to the judges' scorecards and we have a majority win. Your winner. And heading through to the final, Shane Chopper Chapman. Well, there you have it. The final has been set. It will be the Aboriginal warrior Chris Collard against the man they call Chopper, Shane Chapman, and a disappointed John Wayne Parhammer. Well, I'd have to say I, I agree with him. I mean, he did get the count. And there's John Wayne Parr. He's not a happy man. He did get the count on Chapman in the second round. And he's, uh, Wayne Parr's really wondering what he has to do to go through here. And uh, how 